Hi guys, welcome to a new location. Today we are on our way from Belgium with the car to Sweden. Beautiful Sweden. I'm going to a road trip for only three days. So it's very close and it's a, a long distance with the car. But we are going to make the most of it. I have to receive something in Jurma. It's a little village close to Stockholm. And it's for my work, so I'm trying to combine work and fun together so why not make a, a nice weekend out of it so from Belgium to Jurma it's 1600 kilometers and around 18 hours drive so uh, it's a long long journey and, and from Belgium you cross the Netherlands then a long part uh, through Germany in Germany we are taking the ferry to Denmark and Denmark is like two hours with the car and uh, then you are already in Sweden. So let's start this road trip. So we just arrived here at Denmark. With the ferry from Germany, it was for one person with a car, 125 euros, and it's 45 minutes the boat trip. So now we are continuing our trip towards Stockholm. If you come to Malmo from Denmark, you will immediately see one of the city's most striking sights. So here in front of me you see the Orison Bridge. It's a bridge that connects both cities of Copenhagen and Malmo, so also the two countries of Denmark and Sweden. There you have Malmo. So at the moment I am driving for a couple hours already in Sweden and it's uh, almost sunset so it's time to find something to eat for myself and there is a little village close to a lake it's called Jönköping or Jönköping I don't know the pronounce of it and uh, yeah I will find uh, a pizza or something and uh, try to eat it at the lake with the sunset so that's uh, a beautiful end of a uh, long and exhausting journey with the car and then I will drive further to Durham it's a three hour a long three hour drive I think so I will be there at 1 a.m. maybe some uh, some bit later but yeah I can uh, sleep for a couple hours and then I will wake up around 6 a.m. I will try uh, to wake up as early as possible so I can explore the surrounding area of Jerem a bit it's all uh, little islands at the east coast of Sweden so I don't know what I am going to do exactly tomorrow uh, in the morning maybe a hike maybe a swim but one thing I'm already sure of it and that is that I'm going to visit Sweden definitely for a second time and for a much longer time than I want to visit Stockholm of course and uh, Swedish Lapland I think this uh, is a beautiful country, so I'm really excited to see more of it. But don't leave this vlog yet, because this is my first time here in Sweden. 
uh, I want to share my first impressions with you about this uh, interesting country. So I'm now here in the village of Jörgeping and I have my dinner already here with a beautiful view of the lake. After I finish my meal, I'm going to travel further towards Stockholm. It's a three hour, three hour and a half drive. And I will stop at the little village of Gustavsberg where I'm going to sleep in a car for a couple hours because I'm going to see what's happening there in that beautiful area close to Stockholm. So after this quick stroll around the beach here at Jörköping, I'm going back to the car. So sad, I can't stay any longer at this beautiful place because it is really that beautiful. But yeah, tomorrow is another day. So guys, I just found myself a spot somewhere at the east side of Stockholm. It's 20 minutes from the place I need to be tomorrow for the package. So I'm going to sleep now, it's 2 a.m. for 4 hours I think. And then uh, and at 6 a.m. I will start my day because I want to do as much as possible tomorrow. Because I don't have that much time here in Sweden. So I want to make the most out of it. So good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning guys, already a beautiful day here in Sweden. I slept like four hours. So we are now 40 minutes outside of Stockholm at the east side. We are at the coast of the Baltic Sea and we are going to explore this place around Jurham. And you have all these little islands here that connect with bridges and stuff. And of course, it's already pretty hot. It's 8 a.m. So I'm going to take a morning swim. So I think this is the place. The way to the beach. So behind me you see a little village called Stavsnas or Stavsnes, I don't know how to pronounce it but and if you walk through the woods like we just did we find this it's just a perfect swimming spot for me so So, I'm already in my swimming pants, time to hit the water. Wow. 
what a beautiful place this is. So that was really a refreshing swim. Now we are continuing our way to Jurham, to the place where I have to take the package and then I go further down south. But before I'm going to end this vlog, I'm going to a traditional village uh, on the way to Malmo. So I will tell you the name later. But now we are going back to the car and drive around this beautiful area towards Jurham. So guys, I got a package that I needed for my work and now we are on our way to the last stop of this vlog of uh, my day also. It's a city called Exio. It's a real traditional Swiss village so I'm excited uh, to go there. And yeah, from the Juram region to Exio, the little village I go to now, uh, it's like a 3-4 hour drive. And I will stay there for like 2 hours or something, explore the little village and then I will leave to Malmo where my hotel is. I'm gonna leave my baggage there and I uh, will explore the city of Malmo but that's for another vlog so I hope uh, you're also gonna watch that video A visit to Exio or Ekjö is definitely worth it when you are on a road trip through Sweden. Together with Hjo and Nora, Ekjö belongs to the three wooden cities or the three Trastadar. The centuries old and well preserved wooden houses make these towns unique. I'm going to stroll through the streets, past the monumental wooden houses and taste the history of this country.
such a lovely place to walk around. Take me somewhere blue where I can breathe Where the white in my soul starts to ease I'm fighting the divine and war with my own mind Wishing for some change Looking for a connection to give life some meaning And free me from my own cage I'm sick of feeling low, I can't see the stars So that's it here for the first two days here in Sweden. My first impression video. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a, a thumbs up and a reaction in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Location. And I'll see you again in another Location. Ciao!